for self tapper. All right, today's the day. It is after school and it's probably close to 100 degrees, but we really do want to get those chickens moved over. So Jeremy is helping me deconstruct the chicken coop so we could try to put it on the forks on the bobcat and move it over to the little peninsula area. took the two outer panels and I just swing them away and the way I constructed this little awning for them I screwed the wood into the wall and then I did ready so I put one right here awning for them which really does work that was easy to take apart wasn't it there's our bare naked chicken coop oh what happened girls what happened they're not gonna know where to sleep tonight but hopefully they follow us with the coop to the outside of the goat paddock over to where they browse and hang out anyway and go back in I might have to persuade them with a little bit of food once we get over there. Jeremy's going to get the skid steer and we are going to get this party started. needs painted I'm gonna to need to paint here and then all this wood I was gonna go back and actually stain at cedar that was five years ago see this little wood trim here it's already broke what are you doing what are you doing huh so I put on here as like a rain guard flashing so when the water comes down because there's no gutters it hits this because when I first got it the water was going straight in this hole and straight into the bird boxes
Okay, the goats are coming. We've been trying to hurry up before they came back from the paddock. I'm gonna go run and close the gate. Hold on.
just like that, he's out of here. He's actually going to a fishing meeting. They have a tournament next weekend in Broken Bow. So, he's got to go to a fishing tournament meeting for the kids. I think I like it. I think it's going to be easier to take care of the chickens without the goats jumping all over and getting in the way. Now we just got to get the chickens over here. in the chicken coop on, on the forks on the bobcat, huh? Little speckled Sussex, you took a little ride. I'm thinking temporary. Temporary. See if I can get some T posts in the ground. I hope I can. Probably not gonna happen, but I put everybody's wings and I leave it open, then I close them up at night and everybody will be safe. Have I mentioned how much I love zip ties? Zip ties and bags are my favorite thing in the whole world. use an old 90 degree angle trim piece of metal that was left over from our barn door build and I just put that in its place. That should keep that pretty tight. Now I just got to get the other one for the other side. I found the other one. Let's go affix the other side to the other part of the coop. some chickens. I was able to trap the ducks. I put the food in there. They all went in and I closed the door. So we got the ducks.
Okay, catch some chickens for me. You got your net? Isn't there a net in the garage that you can catch a big, huge, like, net at the fishing net? The big black net? Where? This barn? Daddy's barn. Daddy's barn. Somebody wants you. Justin and Parker are about to go catch the chickens. I'm going to clip their wings and we're going to put them in here. Let's go. Guys, this is Marin. She is our oldest hen. She is about six years old. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah. We've had her since she was a baby. Say hi, Marin. Say hi, everybody. I'm a pretty girl. My name is Marin. And I'm a black copper Moran. Yeah. And I'm pretty. And I'm pretty. Tell everybody how pretty you are. Tell them I wear jewelry and mommy dresses me up and I hate it. And I hate it. And now she kind of leaves me alone because I've got lots of friends outside now. I don't go in the house anymore and I stay outside. Right? <laughs> It's just now getting dark, and there's a couple chickens we did not get and clip their wings. We just need to teach them where the old coop went. So I'm going to go out here, and I'm going to try to catch them. And there they go, because I'm not fast enough, and the spotlight's on, so I'm not going to catch those. There they go. There's no hope. Jesse, are you gonna help me to catch the chickens? Oh man, you're gross. Dude. Ooh, you stank. Oh my god, gross. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. You take care of everybody? Bye. Oh, is a good girl. Oh, is a good girl, Bubba. What is that? Bonnie, get it. What is it? Goodness. Well, that is it for tonight, you all. We got the chickens in there. I believe there's probably four or five still left out that aren't gonna go in there by themselves that we're gonna have to continue to try to catch, but we're okay with that. So all of our big hens are in there. We're still missing our rooster and a couple of the small teenagers, but we will get back with that tomorrow. At least we got the coop moved today. We got a little new fence for them so they actually can stay in whenever I'm not ready for them to come out. Cause I just want to teach them for a week or so, like this is the coop and this is where it is. This is what you've had your whole life. We've just moved it. Thank you so much for joining us for all our coop adventures. If you wouldn't mind, please hit the subscribe button, thumbs up and go ahead and hit that little dingle bell. It'll alert you every single time we have new content. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye-bye.